We all know the great responsibility and accountability that comes with being a public servant. Because we function to put people's interests ahead of our own, we, must, we are required to have a character so grounded in our most essential values and principles that not even the slightest promise of wealth or influence could ever sway us. With that said, I would like to point out two things in relation to our event today. First, our career in government is not necessarily for everyone. To wholeheartedly give yourself and real and selfless service day by day is investment that only some can afford. And that leads me to my second point. Your achievements are indeed remarkable, and it is only right that you are bestowed the distinction and incentives that you deserve. And may the celebration today be a resounding call for all of us to embrace our role in uplifting the lives of every Filipino. We are privileged to be freely given the trust of the nation, for public office is a public trust. So let us repay that confidence by serving them with utmost responsibility, efficiency, and honesty. Uh, this is a deeply felt honor, and it is a recognition of all our efforts at the UP Philippine Genome Center throughout the pandemic. So I share this award with the thousands and the many researchers within the Philippines, particularly within the uh, genomics network, and the laboratories who have sent samples to us during the pandemic because it allowed us to have to track the spread of the virus as well as, of course, to give uh, proper advice to our Department of Health and the other agencies on how we should manage the pandemic. And this is our way of affirming those who are quietly working but with a loud uh, effect on our nation and on the bureaucracy as well. We salute you and we thank you for being who you are, for taking the step, the extra step to be where you are now. May your tribe increase. And to all the other civil servants, let us continue to serve our country with utmost humility, integrity, and honesty. And let our work be our form of prayer.